Hey guys, Goksum for the win here, and welcome back to another Leaf Green walkthrough episode. In this part, today we'll be going through Sylphsko. Now, Sylphsko, one of those harder places to go through for the first time if you're going through it. Personally, I don't even know my way through this area, so I had to look up a lot of stuff on the internet before I made this video. But, um, I'm gonna try to help you guys as much as I can. We're at the beginning of the episode here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the fastest way to get through Sylphsko. And on top of that, I'm gonna be skipping through trainer battles just to, uh, make sure the video is not as long. So anyways, when you make it to Sylphsko, go all the way up to the 5th floor, and you want to, uh, fight this trainer right here. Or, if you could skip him, that would be even greater. And you want to make it over to this warpad. Once you make it here, it's pretty easy, plain and simple. You just gotta walk right back. Okay, we beat him. But once you go ahead and do that, make sure you don't run into that. Actually, I think you have to, because he's a spinner, so you pr probably have no choice. But you'll find the card key here, and the card key is like one of the most important items in this whole uh, area. Or in Sylphsko, I mean. Just because it will help you get through here faster. So let's go ahead and make it back through here one more time. I was going to show you guys around Sylphsko, but I forgot. I gotta show you guys the fastest way to get it through here. So anyways, once you beat that trainer, if you do run into him, you have to go all the way back to the third floor, and you have to fight this trainer here. So you kind of had no choice, which kind of sucks, but... So a decent amount of VXP from that guy. Once you go ahead and beat him though, you go ahead and use the card key in this door, and you don't have to worry about this door right now, because you go into this warpad. Once you're in this warpad, you pretty much have made it to the end. All you gotta do is fight your rival from here, um, and then go fight the boss. But, I'm not gonna do that right now, because I gotta show you guys through Sylphsko, and show you guys what you guys can actually do. There's a lot to do in Sylphsko, so if you come over here, you can find a Hyper Potion, uh, which can be useful if you want to heal up your Pokemon, and I gotta... F oh no, we don't have to fight him. Sick. I thought that guy was a trainer. But, come down here, and this Team Rocket Grunt, you're kind of forced to fight him. There's a lot of trainers you're forced to fight in Sylphsko, but it's a lot of EXP, so it's probably worth it just to be forced to fight all the trainers. So, open up this door right here. If you come over here, this lady by the beds will heal up your Pokemon, which is pretty nice. I actually KO'd two of my Pokemon throughout those two battles, or a few battles I've went through, so kind of sucks, but uh, it's going to happen, mostly when I'm just trying to speed through these battles. Okay, so be that trainer, and if you come over here, you can actually open a few doors. Um, I don't remember if there's much in here. I think there's a trainer. It'll bring you back to where you found the card key, this warp pad right here. So let's go ahead and fight this scientist right here. There's definitely a lot of EXP in this area. It's nice finding all the trainers, but we're going to go ahead and go to this elevator next because I want to go to the seventh floor right now. This is like one of the best floors for me personally. Um, oh god, did I click it again? Okay, I've made that mistake so many times in the plot in the past, just mashing A. Yeah, we don't want to fight that trainer. I don't even remember if I fought in that trainer yet. But if you come in over here and open this door, you can get the TM for bulk up, which is pretty useful. And I'm actually going to teach um, my Hitmonchan. So if you guys are following me, um, following what I'm doing in this walkthrough, well, go ahead and teach your Hitmonchan bulk up. Because bulk up's a really good move, and it could be helpful in the Elite Four in future battles if you want to set up. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of Agility right here. I'm not, I'm really not too worried about speed or anything. I just want to get his attack and defense up because his defense is pretty bad. And then his attack is really good. So if we got two of those things going and getting boosted, this thing's going to be a monster. And on top of that, I'm also going to teach him Brick Break. Um, I think a few eps ago, a, s a few episodes ago, uh, I said I was going to save these TMs for a specific Pokemon, and this was the specific Pokemon right here. So I'm going to get rid of... Uh, well, I guess I'm going to get rid of these two, because I'm going to keep Mock Punch. Uh, we're going to have three fighting type moves on this Pokemon. I think this will be his final move set uh, for Hitmonchan right here. Uh, you guys will see what the other TM is. If you've watched my later, or not later, my uh, older episodes, then you'll know that I want to teach him Rock Tomb as well. So, I'm going to teach this guy Rock Tomb. Rock Tomb is one of those moves that lowers the Pokemon's speed. I'm pretty sure it says it right here. And it's a 50 base power move. It's 80 at accuracy, which isn't that good. But Rock Tomb is a super good move to run on Hitmonchan competitively and in-game. Just because you'll get that speed lowered. And it's a pretty decent move if you're fighting uh, flying types. Mostly if you have that bulk up, it's going to be doing a lot more damage. Uh... But, that's pretty much it for that part right there. We're going to go ahead and open up this door as well and fight this trainer. 
Okay, so once you do that, go ahead and go into this warp out over here, and we are back on the fifth floor. Now, the flip fifth floor does have a lot of things, or a decent amount of things you could do. You can get another item here, which we didn't get earlier, and it's going to be a protein. Now, you can get um, a protein, a calcium, pretty much a stat booster for every single stat in the cell scope, and this is really annoying me. Let me go ahead and antidote him up. I don't like uh, running around with my Pokemon Poison in walkthroughs because it's a super annoying sound to deal with and oh god, I think I might just have to run around and kill him. Oh no, this is so sad actually. <sighs> okay, so I actually healed up my Pokemon instead of just killing off Robin right there. Um, I also picked up an item back where Robin was poisoned and that was a Focus Punch. So if you want to go ahead and pick that up and I'm going the total wrong way right here. We have to go back into the elevator. See, you guys know that I don't know my way through Silphsco too much. Um, well, I know my way through Silphsco, but I don't know it by the back of my head. So that kind of sucks, but um, I'm doing a pretty decent job, I would say, right now. Garden or guiding you guys through here now there is one thing that i want to come over onto the sixth floor over here and that is to pick up these items now you can pick up an hp up again you can get one of those items for each stat and an x special pretty useful items right there x special can come in handy later on in the game if you want to set up or something okay so once you fight that trainer come over back to the elevator over here and i'm going to show you guys a pretty cool area actually I probably should have showed you guys that this a little bit earlier but I kind of forgot about it so oh not the sixth floor okay I'm gonna go all the way down to the fourth floor and there's a bunch of hit him hit him hit in items oh my god I can't speak right now but there's a bunch of hidden items down here hopefully we could uh, actually avoid this trainer somehow hopefully he doesn't spin come on don't spin okay I don't think he's a spinner but if you come over here and open this door up you can get three really cool items so the first one's gonna be a max revive uh, the second one's gonna be an escape rope which, which can come in handy later on in the game and then a full heal which is pretty useful as well um, I don't know if uh, there's anyone here specific I just want to see what this guy says Shh, can't you see I'm hiding I don't know if you need to hide get man if uh, there's a bunch of people swarming the building and they haven't even found you yet. I'm pretty sure you're kind of safe. <laughs> Just saying. Anyways, let's go ahead and go up to the fifth floor over here. And I think there's a trainer over here that I would like to fight. Now, this trainer right here is pretty difficult. So I'm actually going to switch out one of my Pokemon right here. As you can see, I've got a lot of levels on my Pokemon. I still have to train up Jackie Chan. I think I'll do that off screen though. But this trainer right here is going to have an Alakazam and Mr. Mime. I am going to skip through this battle, of course. I was actually mistaken. He had a Kadabra, but it's still a pretty decent Pokemon to fight. You get a lot of EXP from that guy. That's the only reason I want to fight him specifically. Um, if you don't have a Pokemon to deal with them, then you'll kind of have, have a lot of trouble. But my Gyarados had bites, so I wasn't too worried about that. Anyways, if you want to go ahead and go up to the 10th floor now... Um, I'm kind of just like going to random floors on or in the Silphsco just because there's a bunch of random floors that have really good items. Some floors are just completely useless so I don't even recommend going through to them. And once you do that you can go ahead and grab these items. So you can grab a Carbos here which is pretty useful. Um, then you can grab a rare candy. I know how much everyone loves rare candy so pretty decent item right there and an ultra ball which can come in handy when you go ahead and catch some legendaries which I will do later on so that's pretty much it that I want to show you guys uh, let's go ahead and open this door there's not really that much more that I want to show off just because uh, again Silsco can be a pretty random place and I personally just don't know that much about this area so but I did show you guys most of the important stuff like the bulk up that you can get all those rare items like the rare candy and stuff so anyways I'm gonna end off the episode here guys in the next episode we'll be taking on the our rival and the boss Giovanni so anyways again if you guys like this video go ahead and tell me what you like in the comment section down below and also tell me what you didn't like just so I can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys so anyways if you guys like this video shoot that like button with Kamehameha